Hey guys, I'm Brad. I'm Maggie. And we're the Wanderland Travelers. We just celebrated two years of full-time RV living, so we thought it'd be fun to put out a series of short videos talking about some of our highlights from this last year of travel. This year, we covered over 11,000 miles, going coast to coast and visiting 14 states and countless cities. One of our favorite ways to explore a new city is to check out a local brewery. Over the last year, we visited 38 of them. So today, we're going to tell you about our top three breweries, as well as some of the favorite beers that we came across. From stouts to sours to IPAs, those that made our top three had fantastic lineups across the board. In no particular order, number one, Craft Kitchen and Brewery in Bend, Oregon. With great food, fantastic beers, and patio views of the Deschutes River, this place has so much going on. So we really loved all the beers that we sampled, but a few stood out above the rest. My favorite was the Busted Promise Smash, a nutty and smooth single hop IPA with Fitra hops. For me, that was the Pinta Colada, which is an American IPA infused with toasted coconut. Ooh, yes. That is really, really, really good. The next one is Southerly Fine Foods and Brewing in San Antonio, Texas. Located in the historic Pearl District, they have a fantastic patio and awesome beers. We both enjoyed the Darwinian IPA and Confundo Black IPA. And Brad really loved the Tomato Goza and the Sage Saison. This area was also adorable. There was an airstream pumping music while we were there visiting and just people out in the grass loving life. And it was just a really cute and up and coming area. Oh, the Confundo is good. And to round out our top three, third is Intracoastal Brewing in Melbourne, Florida. This is on Florida's Space Coast, not far from Cape Canaveral. We loved their dog friendly patio and the great local vibe that was going on there. The beers that really stood out to us were the Fruity Juice Double IPA and the Dragon Point IPA. They also had a delicious seasonal, the fashionably late Eggnog Cream Ale. Fruity Juice is awesome! Very juicy! Now deep down in our hearts, we are IPA lovers, so we would be remiss not to go over some of the amazing IPAs we found in this past year. First up, the Electric Jellyfish from Pint House Pizza in Austin, Texas. They describe this one as a hazy new school IPA, and it has a juicy hop flavor and aroma, keeping the bitterness balanced and refreshing. So good. We yeah. really love that one. Great pizza there, too. So the hops in this one are many. They've got Citra, Simcoe, Chinook, Equinot, Azaka, and Galaxy. Another one that we loved was the High Lie from Cigar City Brewing in Tampa, Florida. This is an American IPA described as having an intense bouquet of tangerine and candied orange peel. This one has Amarillo, Simcoe, Cascade, Moteca, Centennial, and CTZ hops. Also pro tip, they've got a nice big overflow parking lot across the street big enough for a big rig. Next up, the Elegant IPA from Borderlands Brewing in Tucson, Arizona. This one is a hazy New England IPA with a hop forward juicy nose, smooth finish, and a creamy front. And this one has cashmere and Enigma hops. And last on the list is the Melvin IPA from Melvin Brewing. This is in Alpine, Wyoming, just south of Grand Teton National Park. They also have a location in Jackson, Wyoming. We did love the one in Alpine a little bit more. This one is in a giant warehouse with their huge brewing tanks on full display, quirky murals everywhere. Outdoor games. Yeah, they had a great patio with views and they were just blasting 90s hip hop the whole time, which was really fun. So the Melvin is a West Coast IPA described as having citrusy and dank notes with a solid malt backbone and a resiny hop finish. The hops in this one are Centennial, Simcoe, and Citra. So a lot of these beers, you have to get them from the brewery. Some you can probably find in stores like the High Lie. Yeah, the High Lie is canned. Yeah. One of our viewers and RVing friends, Summers on Wheels, at one point asked us if we might make a video about our favorite beers that we found. So hope you guys have enjoyed this. Also, if you're new here, Please hit that subscribe button. We make weekly vlogs about our RVing life and adventures. And we got a lot of great things coming up in year three of our travels. Thanks, guys. All right, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.